Welcome back to another episode of We Are Adventure Riders. In today's video, we head to the strange Soviet-era town of Chiatura, well known for its series of super old cable cars and abandoned buildings. Lucy shows us how to eat chinkali the local way. Yum, drink the soup. <laughs> we visit a church on top of a pillar. How did they build a church up there a thousand years ago? And end the day with some light off-road to a nice river camp. Last night we had one tent under here and one tent under here. <laughs> we came from the playground. Yeah. <laughs> And then we were woken up when the cows came and I smelled them before I saw them. <laughs> right, today we go to Chiatura. Ready? Let's get out of here! Look out, dog! Doggy. Look out, cows! Good doggy! Ready, ready! Let's go! Just come into this town, Chiatura. As expected, it's very industrial being an old mining town. Still seems very active though, actually. Yeah, it looks very old, proper old, like Soviet Union looking buildings and infrastructure. And look at the old buildings here. Ah, look, Chiatura. So now we're officially in the town. Let's go exploring. So Chiatura is not really on the main touristy map. In fact, there's nothing even mentioned about it in Lisa's Lonely Planet book. But we read that people would come here for the unique experience of riding the Soviet era cable cars. There used to be more than 20 all over the town connecting the city centre with the mines and the upper neighbourhood surrounding it. But upon arriving we learned that just last year they closed the remaining cable cars because they were too dangerous. They've removed all of the hanging uh, cars so you can't even see those and they've built new ones so that the locals can get around but it's, it's far less exciting. <laughs> I'm so bummed that they closed the lifts. It's like the main reason we wanted to come here. But it has been pretty interesting to see this really industrial Soviet era town. We've been walking around the town and we found our first cable car hanging. Definitely not in use. <laughs> all the way down to the bottom of the town all along this railway with these abandoned plants and buildings and stations to this somewhat abandoned football stadium so all the stands are clearly no longer used but pitches So we've been trying to find a great opportunity to find some fresh kinkali and here in Chiatora we have found some oh. and plum sauce. Bonus. Yeah. So kinkali is a dumpling with meat inside and also a soup and it's quite similar to the Chinese dumpling Xiaolong Bao and this is khemali, pronounced wrong but it's Georgian plum sauce. 
It's the best way to eat from Carly. You have to bite. And then hope that the sauce doesn't burn you or the soup. Mm. You ready? Mm. Yum. Drink the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Just like local. Just like local. <laughs> And then you gobble it down. Yeah. And you leave these things. Not quite what we wanted, but we had a good time all the same. All right, we're just leaving Chiatora. We've got a few more stops today before we head to our camp. And the first one is about 15 minutes away from here. We're in a very lush green part of Georgia here. Very different to where we came from in Tbilisi where it was all dry and brown. So this is what we've come to see. So this is the Kachki Pillar. It's a natural limestone pillar with a church on the top. The original church, they think, was from around the 9th or 10th century. So, like a thousand years old. How did they build a church up there a thousand years ago? I don't know. But what you can see now is a restored church. So that's why it looks quite new. I'd climb up, would you? Welcome to my room. <laughs> I will leave now. <laughs> We're going to find a camp spot not too far from Kutaisi city where there is some sulfur baths and a river to come by. This is a very typical site in Georgia. There are cows everywhere on the roads. Move out my way. More cows. Woo. Mm. Never gets old. So we gained a new friend. I'm not German. This like older German guy on an adventure, rode here from Germany, exploring a bit, and then he'll head back to Europe. So he's going to join us for a day. It's good to have a bit of off-road to end the day's ride. At least we're not doing it in dark this time. Exactly. Yeah, only another kilometer or so. So we're up. Whoa, it took like a charge at Mark. <laughs> Shit. I'm glad that Mark was at the front then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm already starting. Oh. Huh? We don't smell it, so that's good. So that over there is a sulfur bath. So yeah, camp today mainly came here because there's a hot spring over there. But there's also a nice river here and we found a beautiful flat spot of grass. We've met another German guy, Norbert, and some other Germans. They're German, right? Yeah. Yeah. They drove their house here from Germany. <laughs> they have kayaks, they have hiking things and... Can you see it in the background? I don't know what else. That. They have a so, balcony. It's huge! Yeah, the Germany guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're the minority now. <laughs> Join us next time as we ride through the city of Kutaisi, visit the Hinchka waterfall, learn how church hella is made and ride to another riverside wild camp. <laughs>